Rockers, welcome back to your number one rugby podcast, guys. I am none other than your co-host, the one, the only, your friendly neighborhood referee. I am Rudy Pates, and next to me, Ooh, I've got the one and only Juan de Jong in the house. <laughs> hey, how are you partner? doing? I'm very good. I'm very good. I'm very good. Oh, fantastic, eh? Huh? Especially after seeing last weekend, seeing Sia Kulisi, uh, catching up with him. Yeah, I'm very good. And yourself? Um, can't complain, boy. Mm. Another week, exciting yes. week. Mm. Episode 32. Hey. Um, mm. I can actually feel the steady growth. It's catching up to your age now, ne? this episode. Hmm? Uh, slowly, but okay, okay, okay. Yes, but it's too early. It's too it early. gets me <laughs> off guard sometimes with this little <laughs> stuff. It's too bit early. Um, I wish I was 32, but mm. I'm not. Okay. But mm. I have a fantastic party, honestly. Mm. Great weekend again. Great episode yeah, last week that we had. Um, mm. The growth continuous growth that the two of us are, are getting yeah. and the love we're getting yeah, from the Rakas outside. The Rakers, yeah, Massive yeah. appreciation. All love, all love, all love for the Rakas, eh? Mm. Yeah, no. And um, obviously, while we're on the Rakas, how was the weekend, Boyki? Yes, weekend? very good, very good, very good. Um, it was my daughter's birthday. Mm. Yes, little like princess, a beautiful. Little Emily's fifth birthday, yeah. Yeah, it was special. It was special, you know, just spending time with the family, you know. You know, blessings of her turning five years old. It was lacquer, man, yeah. Uh, Wife has got all the responsibilities. We had the LOL party. You know yes. what's LOL? Lol. At, at, at first, I, I, I was on the same page love as you. Love. I was on the same page. I asked what, wifey, what is this LOL uh-huh. part? Yeah, because in my mind, it's a circus. It's, it's laugh out loud. Eh? Yes. <laughs> and now, uh, no, it's just all this new little, you know, dollies and, and stuff that the kids are, are into now. But uh, it was special, eh? Wifey, wifey did a very good job. Yeah. Is that mm. I, and it was good to see you there as well. Does mm? uh, wife get all the credit for it? Yeah, all the credit. Yeah. Okay. You know, uh, the, the husband is always the forklift. They live this, put this, day, put this day. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it goes I all the time. Like yeah. like you know. um, yeah, it was special. Ruckus, obviously, it was lekker to mm. be at the, at, the, at the thingy. Emily looked beautiful. The party mm. was gorgeous. Yes. The kids were happy. Yes, and that's kids important. Kids are happy. Wife is happy, which means we are we happy. happy yeah. We can go play golf. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not that. Nah. Yes, he's out. Yeah, she's not okay. 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 Okay, okay, guys. Okay. Ruckus. Mm. Um, but, party. Before we get yes, stuck yes, talk, into talk anything, I quickly stuff. want to do the important thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Ruckers, mm. you guys all know Behind the Ruck is brought to you and powered by mm. currently by Lulabet, um, our ongoing partner, making sure yes. the lights and everything stays nice and on mm. at Behind the Ruck. Good. Then also I want to make a mention of a new partner that will be on board from March on Kruger International. Yeah, so yeah, watch yeah. that space. It's coming to you soon. Kruger International coming on board with the Behind the Ruck team. Mm. That's exciting news mm. for the two of us. And we're sitting comfortable in there. Are you okay, okay studios? studios? Yes, okay. because it's important to check in. Eh? Yes, yes, yes. Very mm, vital. Yeah, yeah, Are you sure. okay? Yes. I'm okay. Are you okay? Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. But we're not going to talk yeah, about that today. To be today. fair, I was on Sunday. I wasn't really that okay. Uh-huh. I was horizontal most of the time. Felt a bit under the weather. But yeah. But okay. Yeah, good to check in. Check That's in like it. It's yeah. important. Mm. Okay. Rakas, then also, before we get cracking with anything, yeah. it's important that you guys know what is coming this episode. Yeah, and uh, Juan, is it, is it quickly give them line the lineup, please, boy. Line them up, yeah. So the lineup is very simple, okay? We're going to be back straight into our guest, okay? Huh? I don't know if it's a red wine or a sousa red wine. Yes, yes, yes. Or if it's a brown wine. Hey! Because live and direct is Dion Furi, special guest. Hey, can you believe it? Alweer huh? groot ont. Oud man, nog nie koud. Alweer groot ont. Uh, huh? Alweer big dog. Ons my opel is spoiled. Big dog. <laughs> hey, hey rakkers. So we got Dion Furi coming up and on the show. Ch- chat about life, chat about the Rugby World Cup. And just, how does, how does it? Huh? The yes. joins, is the castle going in for service? All those type of things we need to know. Four, yes. five more years on him. And then also the um, URC. Two important ga- games. Results. Uh, results. Perfect. A little bit of features. And then we got Masala Spice. It's been a while. Hmm? Masala? It's masala spa, uh, Spice. Yes. Okay. The Saids. Okay. Yes. But the Biwe Siwe nice. is coming in. Okay. From South African Institute, Institute of Drug, Drug Free, Free Sport. Sport. Lovely boy. Yes. So she's coming in to chat, to educate our rackers, especially the... There's a lot of rugby coming up. The school rugby that's coming up, varsity cup and everything that's coming up. We need to educate. It's a very important inform. So that's the lineup for us here. Lovely. Nice and simple. Yeah, nice and simple. We nice. keep it simple. I, I like it. Mm. Um, in Ruckers, if you guys are thinking, why are these two talking about um, South African drug free sport? I think if we can save one life partner, save. one life through uh, education. Mm. Save one career. Save one career, okay. not a life. Okay, <laughs> all right, man. Yeah, okay. save. Oh, he's a life actually, but I, yeah, I'm okay, gonna okay. get into that. Um, mm. Save one career through educating. Mm. If there's one guy listening out there that didn't know anything, let's, let's do it. Ju- let's yeah. make it possible. Mm. Okay. Enjoy the game in, in the right way. Hey, mm. it's important. It's important. Yeah. Okay, guys. Guys, mm. up next. Yep. L- let's get there. Huh? 
Skank een brande wijntje, oké. Okay. Ja. <laughs> Sikke tijd. Diet coke of full strength? Huh? Diet coke of full Was strength? Diet coke, because you know, life after rugby. <laughs> Up next, Dion Dion Fury. Fury. Hey, rakkers, it's live and direct. He's in the building. Hey, Dion Fury. Hey. A.K.A. Branas. Ken jy die song? Brana, 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 Vein. Nee, ken jy? Like jy, Brana, Vein. <laughs> so, Vicky. Welcome, Branas. Welcome to BTR. Uh, awesome to have you. How is things, brother? You good? Oh, thanks, guys. Thanks Ooh. for having me. Um, yeah, always good. It's uh, summer in Cape Town. Sun is yeah, shining, yeah, 36 yeah. degrees. So, uh, nothing to complain about. Yeah, yes. can't Lekker. complain about that, eh? No, no French. Eh? Nothing. Can you speak French, eh? Can you speak French? Um, why do you want to put, put me on the spot, no, 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 boy? No, no, no. We just check. cannot start the day like this, okay? Yeah. You it's know it's my French is yes. like this, okay? Huh? Little bit. Pitipa. 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 Okay. Probably so you have a holiday now, eh? Vicky, for a break. A uh, couple, couple of weeks off, is it? Yeah. I uh, got five weeks off. Uh, three weeks completely off. Mm. Uh, and then uh, fourth week is like uh, active rest. Yeah, so yeah. start start moving the body again. And yeah, we're in the last week now. So um, the lungs are yeah, yeah. lungs are burning. <laughs> uh, legs are heavy. But yeah, it's lucky to be back and, and training with the boys and see the boys again. Mm. In, in, in Dion... Firstly, what is what was your favorite part of the, the little break? I don't want to call it a holiday. What did Dion Furi get up to in your five Family. weeks off? Was yeah. it just kids to school yeah. or did you actually get up to something? No, that was the best part, dropping my kids at school in the morning. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> once you're home, my mama took hey, yeah. it's time to work now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, um, yeah, kids are in school, so they didn't, uh, didn't go away. Um, took a weekend away to Montiki with the family and friends and stuff. But nothing, nothing uh, major because the kids are in school. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, my wife uh, pulled me into buying a new house. So we're moving at the end of March. Is it? Oh. <laughs> Did all those stuff that as well. Is that yeah. is hard work. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. I still got uh, buyer's remorse a bit, but. Uh, yes, yeah, see, that is a tough part, no? <laughs> moving is difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah 100%. Picking mm. up the house and going to the next thing. Ah, that's not tough on your mama's or your case. Mm. <laughs> you can't even. Thank you for the full slave comes. Hmm? <laughs> stay in your lane, seatbelt, okay. sir. Okay. 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 Stay in your seatbelt, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Dion, obviously, we're going to go into the rugby. We're going to mm. get your fantastic career now and all the achievements you had recently, especially, especially recently. Quickly want to touch on the game that happened this past weekend. Yeah. Storm was rugby. It's going to in the cup. My answer is going to in the cup. How did you feel about especially a young team going mm. to Durban and especially mm. watching at home? What was your yeah. thoughts on the game? No, it was good. I think uh, the, the Stormers' DNA is starting to kick in. Um, mm. That's what we spoke about the last few weeks is trying to get that ball in the air a bit and run a bit more. And I think the, the guys did well. I think uh, we spoke uh, today at training a bit, uh, slack a bit on defence. Uh, I think we can work a bit harder on defence because we had them under ropes in the beginning mm. and we just couldn't give the, the, the killer blow yeah. at the end. And they came back at the end, so we made it a bit of a fist fight at the end. But yeah. To, to go to Durban and take another win, uh, we'll take that. And, and, yeah. and, and obviously, ex Thomas player party, you guys must feel really good, eh? Yeah. Um, I mean, Dion In obviously a having a, a break, Mani not playing, Gaza not playing, and, still. and the performances you guys are currently putting on the pitch is consistent, and it looks like everybody, um, it's like a chain. Mm. Everybody just fits in really nice and doesn't look like this... Stars, I don't want to call yeah. it that, but it doesn't look as bad like the stars are missing. Um, that must felt, feel really good for you guys as a group mm. and as a franchise. Yeah, well done to the management. I think it started last year already when we did a lot of rotations during the, the during the season mm. and those guys got game time and we did it this year in the beginning of the URC as well and those guys are getting into the system, they get into the groove and yeah, if a few guys are not there, a few injury or whatever, those guys just slot in and they, they feel at home. So... It's, it's starting to pay dividends, mm. I think, yeah. It's good to see the juniors coming through as well. Eh? Feinberg, hmm? Shasha Feinberg and Gomez Gomez Zulu. Zulu. Oh, yes. Suleiman Hartzenberg. Yeah. These youngsters coming through, but it's also credit to the, to the seniors as well, especially like yeah. Dion and the boys. Minding them that's, that's been here a couple of years and they can just learn from them now all of a sudden in the Springbok camp. And it's good to see. And it's, it's, it's come from a buy-in. It's a buy-in from senior players, a buy-in from junior players. And that is good to see, especially when it comes to this past couple of seasons, because the Stormers have been in a very, very good space leading up to, to the season? Yeah, I think uh, we took a bit of a dip in the, that tour. They didn't, mm. they didn't get a win on that four-week yeah, yeah. tour. So the guys were a bit uh, demotivated of that tour, but we, we knew it's a long season. You just mm. need to get back onto the horse and start winning games. And uh, yeah, I think uh, 
it's a buy-in, like you said, it's a buy-in from the whole group. Mm. From the young guys, we know what, what's the plan going forward and the management is, are quite honest with every guy that's that's there who's not selected, what their plan is, wh- where they will fit in, what game. So mm. everyone's got a got a role the, through the season, what to do. Mm. Yes, you guys are on a 15 consecutive. Rakers, 15 yeah. games in a row. That's just 1, 2, 3, 4, 15, yeah, we, 15. <laughs> we won oh. that 2nd of March. That's what we won. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Count, yeah. count, count, count that in French. Hmm? Um, no, I can't. We'll stop it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay. Count. That's 15, eh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> no confidence. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Storm is rugby. Um, mm. Dion, let's let's stay there. But before we go to the box, um, Dion Fouri returning from France, um, yeah. motivating factors to that move coming back home. Mm. Um, what was the main factors for coming back home? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah Juwan was also coming. We yeah, came the yeah, same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we, <laughs> spoke, we spoke. We spoke. before. Before he <laughs> yeah. came back. Like, yeah, yeah, come as, let's go. Let's come, go. Come as a package. <laughs> 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 yes. No, I think mm. uh, I think COVID play, played a big role in that uh, that part as well for um, uh, me and my wife and my two kids. I think uh, yeah, the lockdown and stuff. You started to miss family and friends, and your kids are started to grow up, and you just need you need that village to help you raise mm. your kids. So um, yeah, we we still got. I still had a. F- f- one or two years left on my contract, and I, I just told them, yeah, I need to go back home, and yeah, mm. I think the rest is history. It didn't start off too well for me when I came back to the Stormers, broke my cheekbone in the first 15 yeah, minutes yeah, of the yeah. first game, yeah. the first URC. Yes. So yeah, it didn't, didn't start too well for me, but yeah, got, yeah, got so, the momentum and yeah, the rest. How many years in France was it? Uh, seven. Seven years, yep. and that is how many in Lyon and Grenoble was it? So I played uh, 91 games for Lyon mm. and 44 for Grenoble. Mm, okay. Okay. Did mm. you finish at Lyon or finish at Grenoble? Yeah, Grenoble, finish at, at Grenoble. Grenoble. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is it that's what to say? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's the snow stuff. and that's stuff. Yeah, it's ah. Between the mountains and yeah. in, the, in the French Alps, yeah. I've, I've heard, yeah. And then obviously coming back to the storm, most exciting times you've worked with. I mean, when you started with Rassi Rasmus yes. and then Robbie Fleck and Alistair Kutsia and now with Dobbo. The terms of the culture and the way of playing the way of culture, the piece of belonging, is the massive difference throughout the years or is it just, is yeah, no, just yeah, a mindset of the boys? No, it was definitely a lot different mm. when I left and when I came back. I think what Dobo and them created in the Storm setup is, is a sense of belonging mm. and for what we are playing for this Cape Town and make everyone smile in Cape Town and make them happy again. So that, that was definitely a, a lot different when, when I left and mm. when I came back. And yeah, I think in a way that, that fueled me as well. That kept mm. me young a bit as well and yeah. the, the way... Dobbo and the management and all their jokes and and how they get a, they get the guys up for every game. So I think that kept me going as mm. well for the last two years. It's about enjoyment, especially when you're yeah. old, man. You, you need motivation no, no. To, to, to go to practice, to, <laughs> to, go to, practice, to get going, yeah. To, yeah. To, to all those type of things. Huh? Q20. Huh? Q20. Huh? Q20. Q20. <laughs> 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 but of end in flavatories never never hurt anyone. Um, yeah, and then Brana's 2020. I must talk about that final. What a day it was! Eh? Yes, yeah. playing your hundred game, yeah. being man of the match yeah. at uh, DHL Stormers, playing against Bulls, winning that trophy. What a yeah. massive day was that! Eh? Was it bigger than your wedding day? Was it <laughs> 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 Let's not go there. But that's all in all. How was that? Talk yeah, yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, what a yeah, what a memory. I think. Uh, mm. No, no one gave us a shot that year as well. Yeah, this yeah. first inaugural season of the URC, and yeah, we play at home uh, against the Bulls as well. So that was good for the African rugby mm. as well. And yeah, just uh, winning winning the first trophy, uh, yeah, 2022. Yeah. It was it was amazing. I think uh, no one expected it. I think mm. that's that, that's when it's when it's the best. Because no one expected it. Yeah, enjoyable, you, you do, enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. coming yeah. so close in 2010 as well. You know, sure. Bulls breaking our heart yeah. in Orlando. Hey? Francois but, oh well, it's that, yeah, Francois got straight through. Yeah, Under that's the good pulse. memories. Where were you? Rackers, yeah. Good yeah. memories. Yeah. I was still memories. a student at the time, Juba. Mm? Yeah. I wasn't mm. like you playing a super rugby at the 20 years old. Mm. Some okay. of us had to go through the normal okay. way <laughs> of right. becoming a super rugby okay. player. Okay, on your key. Pranas um, on the Stormers mm. and on that, obviously, that winning the, of the of the URC. Um, you've obviously played in the super rugby and then the URC. Um, what has stand out for you so far about South Africans playing in the URC compared to the olden days when we played in Super Rugby? Yeah, I think if you look at Super Rugby, it's almost, in a way, similar game format, game plan. New Zealand likes to run the ball. Australian mm. drive fields we go. We play in the Northern Hemisphere. Sometimes we play in Glasgow, it's minus 10 and it's snowing and it's uh, different conditions mm. and stuff. So then you have to adapt your, your, your style of play. 
that you usually know, um, would would have played. So I think in that in that regard, that teaches South African sides how to adapt between the two two different types of playing. Mm. And I think that that will benefit the, the box as well in the long in, in the long run as well. Yeah. Mm. And you being a forward, you don't score. You score a lot of tries actually. And forwards don't really score a, a, a lot of tries. What is your favorite try? Because you were a couple. Hmm? Yeah. Um, first one that sprung to mind is. Uh, was it 2011, 29, 2010, something? Like that. Western Force. Was Western it? Force. Yes, the chip and chase. Chip and chase yeah. on the. <laughs> we must the, get the that shit. Yeah. Uh, 50 uh, meter uh, try. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. Jesse. Yeah. Catch it. Chip, 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 uh, chip. chip. Regather in the corner. Yeah. Mm, must get that footage. Fav- must get that footage. Is that your favorite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can remember. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yes, he's yeah, he's, got he's got some speed. That was when I was young. I still had a bit of speed in me, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> at the, at the time, were you playing hooker or, or, or flank then? Yeah, it was hooker, yeah. Still hooker? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And on the, yes, hooker, flanker, favorite. Mm. Let's quickly. Uh, flank, definitely. Flank, flank definitely. Yeah. Mm. You're, not, you're, you're not trapped like a hooker in if you're flank in the, f- <laughs> yeah, in the middle. Mm. He wants to be loose. So, can't do flank, um, but at school, junior years, you played yeah. hooker. I played flank until grade 11, standard nine. Then I moved to hooker to play for, to play for the first team and then yeah, stayed hooker until 2012. And then moved mm. to flank. Yeah. And it's flank. easy transition for you? No no issues with, with, with no. adapting between the two? No, not too much. I th- apart from scrumming and line-up throwing, I think these days um, hookers and flankers are probably mm. the same type of player. Uh, the way the game evolved, yeah, how, how quick the game is. If you look at... Uh, Quickly, just think a guy like Robbie's from the Bulls. Mm. He still he steals almost more balls than than the, the flankers at the moment. Mm. So, in that in that that regard, I think it's a similar play at the moment. The way the game game evolves, um, mm. and it's the bit more. It's not more demanding on the body playing hooker. No, in, definitely it is. Oh, yeah, it yeah, is, yeah. is it? Yeah, scrumming wise, definitely more okay. demanding. Yeah. Okay. You feel it on a Sunday when you wake up. Yeah, you like. Uh, <laughs> I'll make coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, <laughs> and, <he went. laughs> and, and now let's fast forward. Um, Dion, Dion Fury, the Stormers won um, the URC mm. in 2020, 20, 2021, 2022, 2022. Mm. Sorry, Rakas. In 2022, now did Dion Fury think that the Springbok dream is still Green alive gold, at the time? Eh? Yeah, actually, funny. I was it before the quarterfinals or of that year. I did a press conference before the game and one journalist asked me, like, um, what are you, are you want to play for the box? Are you in the group? Whatever. And I said, I don't know, but mm. uh, I can give you um, Jock's number and then you can phone him yeah. and then <laughs> maybe ask him because I don't yeah. know. And then, uh, funny enough, when I got to my car, I looked on my phone, I had a missed call from Jock. Is it? I was like, did he, did he listen? Yeah, no, yeah, was yeah, he, was he in the <laughs> 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 did, did I put him on the spot? So mm. am I in the... Yeah, then he phoned me and then I said, listen, yeah, um, we're looking at putting you in the in the group for that whale test series. Yeah, yeah? Test, mm. and, um, but he can't promise me any game time, but I'm in the broader group and we'll see what happens. And then, yeah, that was, I think, the quarterfinals of URC and then they announced the squad after the semifinals. So, yeah, and then, yeah, then it all started. Yes, yeah, and then cool. Dion Free became the oldest debutant, um, huh? obviously in Springbok history. Thirty-five. Um, huh? Yes, he. And he, now he retired. Thirty-five. Hmm? He's become a bok. Huh? <laughs> it's never too late. Yeah, never too late. Not, yeah. Damn, <laughs> I can't get out of bed at the moment, <laughs> Rakas. Okay, but Mr. F will get it done. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oldest Springbok debutant. Mm. How did you and your family feel at that moment? And obviously, yeah. for you as, as a person, how did that feel becoming a Springbok at that age, especially? No, very proud. I think. Um, since, since you start playing rugby at primary school, you always see, when you look at Springbok games, you see the guys lining up, doing the national anthem, mm. and you just always imagine, yes, I wish I can stand there and, and sing the national anthem. Yeah, and then I got an opportunity in Bloemfontein against Wales, and yeah, my whole family came down, all my sisters yeah. and their husbands and kids, and yes. it was almost 14, 16 people in total. So yeah, everyone was there, so it was a proud moment for, for them and for me as well, yeah. You're 35 years old, hmm? No, that's it's a s- special, eh? That is, that's and absolutely he, he, stunning. You played about like 30 minutes that game. Yeah, I think that's so. Good, yeah. Mm. yeah. And then you got the rugby World Cup, eh? Straight into it. Hmm? It's been a crazy few years, Dion, eh? Mm. Have, have, yeah. have you managed to, 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 to kind of let it soak in currently or mm. did you just go with the flow when everything happened? URC winning, then my big Springbok mm. debut and then mm. all, all of a sudden, yes, it's World Cup selection. Um, mm. Did it just flow or did you yeah. have to think about it a little bit? No, I think ev- everything happens so fast. Eh? So you, you in the, won the URC yeah. in the box setup, 
finish that, then the RC already, second season of RC already started. Then end of the year tour, then you're on there, then you come back, then it was just a continuous, there was no breaks, it was just a continuous mm. thing going on. So um, I think this, this last five weeks, I'll put it into perspective when you go out and walk in the malls and yeah, I, I saw I saw that the new trailer that Rassi said that people say thank you, but it's literally yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally that. Me and my wife walk, and people come and say thank you, thank, thank you. you for doing it. It's just thank you. So Not well done anymore. It's yeah, thank you it's now. really, it's, mm. it's literally that what happens at the moment. So that's that's when you start realizing that the importance you know, the of importance it, yeah. of how mm. big it is. And then yeah. the rugby World Cup. Okay, your experience, yes. hey, being okay. in France. You've been there for mm. seven years, yeah. and then now the rugby World Cup is in France as mm. well. How was that whole experience from A to Z? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. We had that first week of uh, pre-camp in Corsica, so mm. that was that was just getting into the flow of all mm. the French and all the baguettes and all the yeah. and all the bread and all <laughs> the dangerous, yeah, <laughs> all that stuff. So that that was that was quite nice. And then yeah, heading into the World Cup, then yes, yeah. What's it? Twelve weeks just fl- flies Trading, by just yeah. like that. Eh? Um, and yeah, when you see you play a quarterfinals against France, mm. that was probably the, the most important game or the biggest game for me for the whole whole World Cup was was that game because since we drew them for the mm. quarterfinals, yeah. everything just changed. Everyone in the street changed. The way we train changed because scared of everyone going to mm. look what we're going to do. So yeah, I think mm. that will that will come through in, in the chasing the chasing sun documentary. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be nice for people to, to see, see what 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 we went through to, to win that game. Mm. And especially it's easy for you, you know, coming from France, you yeah. know, understanding the language because you've yeah. obviously been captain for a couple couple of those games as well. Yeah. Um, and just, you know, showing the guys around and, yeah. and the places. Um, yeah, I was mostly the, the, yeah, I was mostly the translator was for the guys. Yeah, yeah. You the, were you the tour guide? <laughs> yeah, I was mostly the translator <laughs> for the guys and mm. some guys needed documents to sign so I have to go yeah. with them to the, to the attorneys or a, a notary there and try to explain. So I was mm. the... The official translator. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so like I did almost all the Springbok appearances as well yeah. because I must, I must, I must talk yeah, and uh, talk to everyone. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, so it was all right. And then, but, but, and that's obviously the big thing of the past World Cup was mm. obviously the fact that Malcolm went went down before mm. the World Cup. Yeah. Um, you being the backup hooker then. Yeah. Um, when you went down, did you kind of know that this is going to be a certain role that I'm going to have to do for the Springbok team? Yeah. No, I think when when they announced the squad, they said that I'll, I'll always stay the third hooker. I'll always mm, be that. Yeah. When Malcolm got injured, we thought they'll just bring up the next hooker and I'll stay the third hooker yeah, and yeah. I'll just be flanked. So that was, mm. when when it happened at the training field, I didn't think, oh, I will be on the bench now for every game going on because I thought they'll definitely bring mm. up a specialist position in that regard. But uh, yeah, turned out they they brought Andre, which was mm. I think it was a masterstroke yes. that, yeah. that pulled us through in, in, in a few games. Mm. So yeah, credit to to Jock and Rassi and the Oaks for for taking that gamble because mm. it was a gamble. Let's mm. let's be honest. Yeah, yeah, it's a massive gamble. Um, yeah, putting me to bring me there that hasn't played in a long time there at at a big stage like that it was a mm. gamble, but luckily it paid off. Mm. And 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 obviously now you're covering Uka. Was that a lot more work for you? Obviously now in going into your prep, knowing that it's mm. only Bongi yeah. left, and mm. um, did it change a bit of your, mm. let's say on flank, if you were just mm. the fits of the team, yeah. your prep for the week now, yeah. hook all of a sudden for the box backup, mm. did it change a bit of your weekly prep in the World Cup? I must be, uh, when when I was in the squad from 2022 at that Wales, they spoke to me. I said, "Listen, you're gonna scrum, do your lineouts every mm. time, start getting into okay. that thing again." And then um, yeah, when Malcolm got injured. Um, they said, okay, it's only it's only hooker now. You only focus on hooker. You don't have to know the, all the flank stuff, but mostly you know, covering, focus, number two. Mm. covering number two. So then you get more reps at training mm. on hooker and lineouts and stuff. So that, that changed a bit. But since that was a building from 2022, from a while oh, since okay. that was their plan. So, yeah. Yes, I'm going to cover all of Yeah, yeah. Come here in the smart box. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm so close there. Yes, see. Because I wanted to ask him now, was it a quick transition? But now it's always been in planning. So that kind mm. of takes my question away, yeah. which is so cool to know that... Um, it, nothing about a box winning the World Cup is, is co- coincidence. Oh, yeah. I'm of okay. <laughs> coincidence because Coach Rassi and Coach Jack, yeah. they, they, they always they, they step away. Yeah, yeah, nothing yeah. is to luck. They're brilliant. Mm. They got a good Just plan. Yeah. Lucky. So yeah. Always the first team out and the last team out. In. Hmm? First team first in, in and last, last team out. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the, planning, out. the planning is, okay, yeah. is incredible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, Branas, on the, obviously on the World Cup, yeah, I see now you're playing, now you're in every team selection. Mm. Yeah. 
every team selection. Um, but I think that must have been lekker because yeah, you're yeah. in the rhythm, yeah. the minutes, playing, you, uh, you got the minutes. Yeah. And before we get to the final, um, just the group stages and the, the, what was it like being in that one point difference games coming as the bomb squad manier? Who yeah. was that? No, it was good. I think in the, in, we go back to the group stages. I luckily got against Romania, I got yes. 40 minutes at Uka. Mm-hmm. Tonga, I started at Uka, played 80 minutes. So you, like you said, you got into that rhythm and then, uh, yeah. Coming into quarterfinals, like I said, it was it was a hectic week of training because mm. we were playing the French, and then I yeah, got one point there, and didn't got a great start against England. We, we struggled yeah. a bit against yeah. England. I think um, conditions, in yeah, condition. I think mm. just emotionally as well. I mm. think if you if you look back as well, that that lead up to that French week, I think took a, took a lot out of the guys. Going into England, you have to be up there again, and then mm. England came with a great game, a great kicking game. Great plan, and they caught us a bit on the back foot. But uh, yeah, we kept on fighting. Um, what, what the thing is about the box? Uh, we never give up, mm. and yeah, we pulled it through at the end with with Andre slotting that nice mm. uh, penalty. Oh, no breaking mm. times, buddy. In the final, eh? The big you. one. The big one, eh? Yeah. Big one. Um, and here mm. now, Branas is sitting on the bench. Mm. He's expecting 30 minutes, probably. Yeah. Mm? It's, it's normal for it's us, normal. you know. When you're yeah. you know, you prepare, yes. 20, okay, maybe 30, at the end yeah. I'm going to get 30 minutes. Boop. <laughs> 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 Five minutes yeah. in. Huh? One and a half minute in. <laughs> yeah. One and a half minute in. You take shoot for now, Africa. What did it happen there? Almost got, uh, almost went back into the change room. I should have changed my shorts. Because <laughs> <laughs> yes, see. <laughs> because that, that was, was like a quick, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, yeah, that was, that was definitely not, that, that wasn't the plan because we mm. went the uh, 7-1 split. So we always need someone to stay on. Bongi should have, that was the plan. You would have played 80 minutes. Mm, that was yeah. the plan always. So we always kept that one oak. Just for in case, just the back, mm. because Quaha trained at, at, at scrum off and wing, and just we did all mm. the scenarios, like you said, Jock and I said, think of every, all the scenarios and stuff. So I think I was the one that would have just stayed on the bench and just see what happens. Mm. If there is something, then we can swap and change whatever. Yeah, you know, and then that happened, and then oh, that the whole plan yeah didn't work out. But <laughs> 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 from comfort zone to adapting to survive, yeah, yeah in a massive game like that, yeah. First, first, the ga- nurse, first, huh? ga- first game against the All Blacks as well. Mm. First time, really? first game, yeah, 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 yeah. First game, like standing in front of the Arca and yeah. stuff. So everything was was quite special. For, yeah. It happened quick. Happened quickly. Yeah. Just, so. Just in a World Cup final, one minute into it, Bongi off, and you're playing Arca. Yeah, yeah. So that it was, is nuts. Yeah, so it was intense. Eh? So mm. um, I actually only looked at the final again. I think in January. Mm. I just really? didn't got time. Yeah, yeah. Just so sit and just watch it from minute one. You saw highlights and stuff on mm. social media and stuff, but never from, from a to first Z, second, yeah. A to mm. Z. Mm. Mm. Any uh, moments in the game that stood out for you, especially afterwards, that you could fondly remember? Yes, I think uh, probably yeah, at the good. end when they almost, we got the turnover, uh, Jasper uh, passed to Jesse, Jesse kicked it down, and I think there was a minute left or 20 yeah. seconds left, and then they started to attack and they almost broke the line at the end at the edge and they luckily yep. knocked the ball. So yeah, that passage of play that last five minutes, it was yeah, stressful, uh, stressful tired, sore, because mm. um, I injured my so- shoulder already in the, in the semi-final against England. So yeah. I was, um, after the game, my wife was there as well. And you know, no celebration when I got to my wife, there's no jumping on each other, mm. happy, we won the World Cup. I just, my head just fell into her shoulder and I'm told her. Fatigue. If I'm in my mood right <laughs> yes, see. Just, I was just so tired. I couldn't, yeah. Yeah, couldn't celebrate. I was just and if so I'm not tired. mistaken, you were the captain in the last couple yeah. of minutes. Yeah, yeah. because he was off at that time. Yeah, but I don't even realise it because yeah. it was... Yeah, that happens quickly. It was quickly. so, it was so time, hectic yeah. because Sia mm. went off for the yellow and then he, came, then he came back on. And I didn't see when he went off again. So mm. you just go through the motions. So... Mm. Yeah, just and trying to survive. Tell me about that captaincy, especially especially because I started, like mm. when you're a spring block, I started like at 22 years old. You're mm. starting at 35. Now, obviously, when you come into the squad at 35, you got a couple of caps, but there's guys like mm. that uh, age of 27 that's got yeah. 30, 40, 50 caps. You, being that senior now, leading them, what is that responsibility on you? Because you know, in a situation of, hey, they've got more experience than me, but I've got to lead them. What is that, yeah. that, that feeling? Like no, that? I think uh, if you look at that squad, most of them, won the World Cup already in 2019. So they experience Oaks in their own way. Yeah. I think, in a way, the captain is just the guy with the experience. It's how you deal with the ref. I think that's the most important thing um, in international mm. rugby is how you put the ref under pressure and make him yeah. alert for, for what's what's happening in the game. 
So I think that's that's a that's a key part. And I think with the box, they had a senior group that goes in the morning of the game. Mm. You sit with Jock and Rassi and then you discuss the ref. What where where's he what what areas you can pressure him, what areas you have just have to leave him. So they did their homework on that as well. So yeah, mm. I think that's that's the main thing. Yeah. Yes, yes, no stone unturned. Mm. Yeah. Partner. Yeah. Is it coachy? Yeah. But your notes. Yeah. 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 Notes. Okay, notes, boy, yeah. Yeah. Tiki boxes. You, you're becoming a ref as well. Then. Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, so, future oh. captains, yeah. don't come up to me, okay? <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> All right, guys? Watch, watch your weakness. Um, Tell me now before. Wait. <laughs> weakness will definitely be scrum. <laughs> <laughs> Pran, that's my last question on the final. One mm. more question. Yeah. I, I obviously never had the opportunity to play in a World Cup final. Big differences from tempo in everything final in a normal test match, or is there any? Intensity wise, I think intensity just uh, just a thing in the back of your mind. Like, listen, this is a final. Yeah. You can't, one missed tackle, and that's that's the trophy. Or one one penalty against you, and that's that's the game. So mm. I think just that that switch mindset to don't hold back, but still. You, you know have what? To, you have to be accurate in you what you're doing. It. You have to mm. know it. Yeah, I think sure. That's okay, that, that, I wanted yeah. to know that, partner. Sorry, yeah. Bucky. <laughs> yeah, but it's special, man, to just to, to be part of the Rugby yeah. World Cup and to play in the final, yeah. but not only play in the final, but to, to, to get the medal. And to contribute. Mm. Yeah. I think that is what I actually want to say to Dion. He contributed throughout that World Cup yeah, to the course of the Springboks. Yeah, that is fantastic. Massive season. I mean, massive career, especially the past couple of years. I mean, you're a double Springbok. And there's not a lot of people that is a double Springbok at the moment. Mm. Your, your journey, special moments for you, not only the Rugby World Cup, but there's other moments as well, you know. Um, I mean, in 2012, when you, you, you lead the Western Province mm. in 2012 in, in Durban after 11 mm. years, that could have been also special. The URC as well. Mm. Your career so far, I, I don't want to say it's, it's, it's close to the no, end. I, 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 okay. <laughs> but you know, 42, 50, 43 <laughs> sounds nice. Your career so far, yeah. a lot of good memories. Um, what, is there a lot to take out yeah. of your career? Yeah, I think like you mentioned now, 2012 as well. Um, like I said, you see when mm. no one expects you to win and mm. you win it. That's 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 the cherry on top for everything. 2012, mm. I remember we played the Sharks in Durban, uh, Bok laden Sharks mm. team, and yeah, and, yeah and, and we won the Curry Cup after after 11 years. So that was very special as well, and to be captain there as well after 11 years. And um, yeah, I think the small that small victories that mm. no one, yeah, I think. Heartbreak was always super rugby when we always lost in yeah. the semi-final at home. Close games, yeah. Yeah, close games and as well. Yeah, that was always that always stuck in my mind that we never could have pulled that that super rugby trophy at mm. home, and we, yeah, we had a great team that mm. yes. uh, through those years. Eh? Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, it was lots of ups and downs. Uh, hard work, yeah. yeah. Luckily, they didn't have lots of injuries mm. through the career as well. So yeah, I'm grateful and satisfied. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's important thing is only, not only what your personal bring your own to, to yourself, to your own career, but I mean the support staff you do have, you know, from your family as mm. well, John Marie, the kids, yeah. um, you know, the sacrifices they had to do to go to France and all that. Yeah. yeah. What, what what was the support staff from them just to make sure that you well prepared on weekends, well prepared on game days? Um, I think um, my wife standing up for the kids on Friday nights mm. before mm. a game, not me. Okay. So, mm. yeah. <laughs> so that must be <laughs> it. Yeah. No, and I credit to her. I think she, she lit. She left her job. She was a teacher mm. to follow my career, and yeah, still doing it today and raising the kids. When especially since twenty, uh, since joining the box, you it's scary how how much time you're away from home mm. and, and not yeah, seeing your so. kids and taking them to school and see how they grow up. So that's sometimes tough mm. on on that side that side of the family. And yeah, always be grateful for that. But it also keeps keeps you humble at the moment mm. when you're. Kids are growing up, and mm. and uh, it just gives you more perspective of what the game is. I think that's why I still enjoy it. I don't put too much pressure on myself yeah. because there's much bigger things out there outside of rugby, mm. like raising kids and make sure they they happy and and full of food. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> and just and the little be. ones do do they realize what they just achieved? Do they understand it? Yeah, no, okay. they, yeah, it? especially my son. He's six years old now, and uh, yeah, he. That's why I have to play well every weekend because he, he will question me yeah. afterwards. Oh, what's yeah, going yeah. On. Yeah. <laughs> is he a rugby boy? Uh, yeah, he plays rugby. Oh, yeah, he plays rugby. <laughs> I think my daughter is three years old. I think she mm. will be the next uh, uh, SA woman uh, prop. She's, oh, okay. she's, <laughs> yeah. she's nice and nice and strong. But <laughs> yeah. she also, when we when play in the pool, she'll take something and say, 
Wereldbeer kunnen. Yeah. Yes, she. Yeah, oh, wow. Like that, so she, yeah. She's into it as she well. So. That's priceless. Yeah, that's priceless. With kids, that's yeah, priceless. Yeah, yeah. Memories with, with, yeah, yeah. with your family. It's priceless. Yeah. yeah. Ja, wat je? Anything else? Wat is het? Wat is het? Wat is het? Ja, Dion. Nou, denk Dion, thanks very much for coming out. Thanks for making yes, the time. Yeah. Fantastic to come to behind the rack. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, me and Paige is always been speaking about this. Let's get Dion on board. Let's talk about. You see, if we can get to the 2027 Rugby World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's yeah, make a new record. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Benjamin Button disease. Yeah. <laughs> Other way around. <laughs> yeah. But well done and congratulations yeah. on all your achievement. Yeah. I mean, from my side, I mean, we've started at a very young age yeah. and I'm proud of you for what you've achieved the past couple of years. So massive, massive well done and everything so far. Yeah. Thanks, my friend. Mm. And do you know, oh, really hope that the season goes well. Mm. Just yeah. the 2nd of March, Ruckus, um, Ed Loftus. Um, it's my son's birthday as well. So really? Yeah, so so I probably have to play well as yeah. well. So, <laughs> so, so you're staying at home that we... Uh, what yeah. are you saying, <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I'm yeah, joking, obviously. Yeah. Um, we, are we going to be in? Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we'll time, see you at Loftus. Yeah. Mm. Okay, um, okay. Obviously, the two Support of us, we're really excited for that game. Yeah. And, and, and uh, that 15 consecutive mm. games. Yes. Um, Bella, as you keep, like, keep, keep, keep. Bella, as you like, keep 15. Keep on. That is seven up. I mean, seven up drinkies is not <laughs> lekker, okay? But you're by it, thank you. I know yeah. it's all in good spirits. Mm. Um, thank you no, for your time. Um, we really appreciate mm. it. And congratulations yeah. on the World Cup and the URCs and the rest of your career, what is still left of it. Mm. Um, all the best for it. And thank you for coming out to us, man. Thanks, boys. Really and, appreciate uh, it. Hopefully, I'm stop playing when you're the ref. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't want, I don't want to swear to you. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing. It won't happen. It won't happen, guys. <laughs> Thanks, That's boys. Appreciate it. <laughs> Oh, partner. Wow. Huh? So lucky, man, to see uh, the big man can still... Uh, he looks, he, he looks what incredible. What are the boys show. eating nowadays? They know. look fantastic. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I want to find out. Some people will say the Fijians got their, you know, uh-huh. their, their, their blueprint. I don't know what is our blueprint, but the, the boys are going now. They want to the vo- touch the 40. Touch. The, they, they obviously, the boys are, are, are pushing the boundaries now mm. of what, what you can do at certain... what previously was unthinkable of mm. now it's different and looking after their bodies the yeah. bodies are looking fantastic and it's always conditioning the bite. Mm. is it the bait who goes longer is it the forwards is it the backs because the, f- the backs will say ah the forwards because uh, you know they don't have hamstrings and those type of things and the forwards will say ah the back uh, the, the other way around because uh-huh. they will say the physicality and stuff so we it's about looking after your body I mm. think it is, it's absolutely, and he actually mentioned one thing, mm. he, obviously when he said touch with the injuries. Yeah, yeah, that's so, also, um, uh, of especially big injuries. Yeah. Big injuries, so mm. maybe that is the thing, but he looks fantastic, he is still playing at an elite, elite level of rugby. Level. Um, I'm just obviously hoping that um, the 2nd of March um, is still No, he's going to be on fire. Um, and I'm just hoping he gets to 2027, that's what I'm hoping. You know, yeah. rugby World Cup 2027. Okay? Get him in there, man. Huh? Rooi Winkie. Oud no, money koud nie. But it's lekker to have him on board. Mm. It's lekker to talk about him. Especially here a different... Like his World Cup was complete... I wouldn't say completely different yeah. to all the other boys. But his role was different. Mm. And it's nice yeah, just to see role. how he saw everything. How it felt. And how he adapted. Yeah. And how he adapted. And mm. nothing looked like nothing faced him. Mm. That's why. That was quite. good. It was good. It was good. Good to chat to him. Yeah. Mm. But... Obviously, it is finished. There was oh, a few. Oh, 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 there was a few derby th- we derby, games this weekend. Uh, There's the a certain team on top of the log <laughs> after the game. <laughs> you can't wait to get there. Huh? I'm sorry. Huh? Can you do that? Yeah, yeah, okay, let, let's get the results. That, the results of the URC, Some please. Some good Wakey. games, especially um, you know the first game coming up was at three o'clock. Lions versus the Bulls. Mm, and score. then and then uh, the Bulls got on top of the Lions. It was 25-10. Hmm, that nice. was an inter- interesting one, yeah. And the one after was obviously the Sharks versus the Stormers at 21-25. So we got on top of the Sharks at in Durban. Both in teams got fantastic away wins from home. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, great results away for win, the yeah. Stormers and the, the Bulls. Yes, um, let's discover that Lions one first. Want to eh? start at, at, at the Yuxke? Yeah, the Yuxke one. Uh, not the same rematch we expected with the, with the one. What the, you expected? What I expected. Okay. That, I, I expected a little bit more from the boys. Yes, there was crucial moments. You know, the try that um, um, Creel scored that was disallowed maybe. Um, uh, so, so there, there could be may, maybe a momentum builder. So there's a lot of things that didn't win, win the Lions away, but I must give credit as well. But Bulls played well. Kenan Moody and the boys, they, they, they got on top again. Um, Ambrose Papier, yo. Mm. Mm. Yeah, he's, in fan, he's in fantastic form as well. So you guys are challenging, uh, finding the straps, you know, moving the ball around, finding some space, some good, good tries. 
you know, uh, without even Valila Ru in, in the mix, without a couple of senior players, but it was it was a good spectacle, just a bit unlucky. But the crowd was better. Yeah, the yeah, crowd was ay, ay, the um, ruckus, fantastic. We, we spread the news we, like we a gossip story. We obviously had um, a few ruckus in the stand that, that won the tickets from last week. Yes. Um, that had a blast of a time, very happy with the experience mm. at Ellis Park. Um, I think from my side, um, fantastic win against a very feisty Lions team for the Bulls. Yeah. Great result. Um, I think they would have taken any amount of points difference just get to get the W mm. away from against that Lions team who, who was on form, yeah. if we're 100% honest mm, with mm, ourselves. Yeah, yeah, they, they are on good form, form. They're, they're a good team. Um, so great win for the Lions. Empress Pampir, um, Pampir playing his second game, man of the match. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good form, striking the right form at the right time. Um, he is just... X Factor galore. He's got pace. He, he, he can beat people with his feet. How good, yeah. Um, a really fantastic talent and nice to see him back to his best playing brilliant rugby. Mm, it's good, yeah. Especially, um, this is some fast nine. Yeah, the, what is uh, the voice? Like Yeti. Granti, him, can, uh, Kobus Reynard, I would love to see Both the three of them. is also... He's fast in um, fast. He's fast. Mm. Um, so definitely the younger boys so the, are the, the nines, different. The nines of this era is, is, is different. Uh, a move. Huh? But the old era. The olden boys, we were not like that. Okay. okay? <laughs> <laughs> we were judged on a different criteria. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, mm. really good results for the Bulls. I think Jake will be happy, especially looking at two weeks' time. Looking yeah, at two the, weeks' time. Looking at the derby game. Um, getting momentum from this was really important. Mm. We had a hiccup to the, the past weekend, moving into the Stormers. It would have put a lot of pressure on the Bulls team that was not needed, especially after what the, the, the platform that the Stormers are currently on. Mm. Okay, so really good result, and I'm excited. It's pretty much the two big boys um, that's, that's playing incredible rugby, you know, especially the Stormers and, and yeah. the Bulls. So that's why the 2nd of March at Loftus is going to be a cracker. Hey. It's going to be a cracker. A remit of what happened 23 of December. So we, uh, <laughs> uh, we'll have to see about that mm. one. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. Okay. Moving on to that coastal one. Hmm? Sharkies, talk to me. Hmm? Partner, uh, look, it's always difficult, right? To, to, to have an opinion of something that you don't have a clue about. The inside uh, was happening inside, inside yes. between the four lines, between um, the camp, inside the culture and stuff. Slow yeah. start from mm. the Sharks. Slow start. Stormers got out of the blocks brilliantly. Entries oh, into yeah. the 22 of the mm. Sox. Um, holding on to the ball from multiple phases. Um, obviously, I think the Stormers should have gotten more points in that first 10 yeah, 11 yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah, There's a lot of then, uh, points that we left out. Exactly. Out there, yeah. They were for 12 minutes stuck in the in the Sox's 22-meter area. They got no points. So the score could have been, been. a bit um, better reflecting in the Stormers' favor. Um, but, but the, the points, Sox... The points scored, those tries that the Stormers scored, incredible. Brilliant. Right? Incredible, no, no. incredible, incredible tries. As I, as I told you Saturday um, after the game, Ruckus, uh, I'm going to have to eat some humble pie. Huh? Uh, I'm going to do it, Ruckus. The Stormers are playing great rugby. The Stormers is a team that is fun on the eye, Ruckus. Mm. Um, the Stormers are the team that has won 15 consecutive games against hey, SA teams. Okay, okay? Yeah. I like um, that. This is the Stormers the went with a young team down to Durban and got a brilliant result, mm. which none of that is by luck. Yeah, and it the, makes up the underdogs on the 2nd of March. Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> uh, after what I just said, how did you get to the dogs? No, I, I mean, the Bulls are top of the lock. So that's why I'm looking forward to the 2nd of March. Because, you know, sometimes... You caught me off guard now. Just uh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you can't... I don't want it to be eight late. Like, you know, it's important. How to will the Stormers be underdogs if you guys beat us in December at DHL Stadium? We won 15 consecutive games against all South African teams, but now coming to Loftus, all of a sudden you guys are underdogs. But, but make that make sense. We're not on top of you in the lock. So it's, it's we, you know what I'm saying? So you guys are looking pretty in the lock and we'll have to see what's going to happen in the next couple of okay. days. But that game is so, super important for both teams. Yes. Because that game kind of get, gets the ball rolling for the playoffs. Who's going to be the, home court of And the Investec Champions Cup. There's a lot of... There's that, a lot of focus lot. actually. We got to... We, we, we must start planning now. Are you putting bullets into the La Rochelle? Are you putting bullets into all those tough games? Or are you focusing on the URC? I think that's, that's where Dobo and them got it right. They gave money. 
they gave Dion and them mm. off. So those guys are obviously they've they've done their resting mm. uh, thing with the box. They the amount period of time they have to be out of the game. So they are going to be firing coming into March April. Mm. They can be a, uh, available and up for selection for every game. They can build momentum into the playoffs of both competitions. And I mean, you guys have fantastic players currently standing out there. There are not box yet. Netling for sure. Yeah, incredible. Um, yeah. Brilliant. Now he's playing some great rugby. Yeah, Netling for sure. I mean, even guys like Paul Devitt is also like uh, knocking on the doors. He's been consistent in in all aspects. Um, Where Galant is finding his traps slowly but surely. Hey. It, it, it's a matter of time. Warwick is such a brilliant player. Mm. Uh, it was. It's a matter of time when he plays good because the qualities that he has, yeah, yeah. he, he's born with X factor. There's, yeah, so cer- there, there's certain stuff Warwick Holland does that you. It's jaw dropping. Mm. That chip and chase. Uh, you're the way set up all the way. He's looking there and it chip it's, off the it's left. It was like everything slowed down. He, he, he snapped his fingers like black in man. He, mm? that, man in you black. know that man, man in black. Yeah. <laughs> He made Choo. that, everything Choo. slowed down. Uh, Take his place, his boom, 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 pull in, the inside. In the mix, yeah. Um, that, so, was, that was awesome to see. And I'm yeah. extremely happy for him. Mm. I know how dedicated and, 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 work and, and hardworking is. he is and how important it is to him mm. that, he, that, he, he, that he is on form. Mm. And, and uh, Booger Man is back. Mm. He's um, back, he's back, he's back. Huh? Anything else? Sharkies? Sharkies, that, it's, it's not looking too good, eh? For me... Uh, the, uh, it's it's pretty clear they're gonna play Challenge Cup uh, um, next year. Ne- next year, and um, it's so difficult to find the spots. The way they're playing rugby is not bad for me. They're scoring good tries. They're getting in some good shapes. Yes, they can. They can. There's maybe one or two tweaks. They're playing a little bit too deep with the backline, um, and 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 but and especially around the breakdown as well. This pick up and goes and guys going with their own, own mission that can kill a team a little bit. Okay. Um, no uh, chip kicks here, but it's on, it's on their own mission. Now the guys don't even know where to go and, and who must clean and those type of things. So there's a lot of small things they can fix. I mean, the small, small things they can fix and, and hopefully they can fix that as soon as possible because obviously this season, it doesn't look too good. Um, the only focus they can have now is to go on a good run. Um, but yeah, it's not looking, it's not looking good. Um, and there's obviously a lot of rumors going on, the guys that they're planning to sign. But I mean, pff, names does, doesn't, doesn't bring the results. And, and we've seen that. Um, so hopefully they can fix the, I don't know, I want to say it's culture, but hopefully they can fix the, the stuff that, that, that can make them um, better going Extremely forward. Extremely difficult actually to, to, to say why they haven't gotten any results. Mm. I think that's probably the most, the toughest part. You, you, you can't pinpoint which part it is it's, it's more maybe a collection overall. of it. overall thing mm. right um Sia Masuku, the flyer that came on he impressed me really mm. he was a bit more of a threat i know you just mentioned they played the backline plays a bit deep a, a bit deeper, sometimes yeah, so it's easy i think he it. came on and he gave a bit direction to the attack he came to the line flat he mm. carried a bit more a um bit. he held the ball and i think that maybe sucked in the defense a little bit more and open up space out wide so he really impressed me from the Sarks' point of view. Obviously, Grant Williams will be back after his resting period mm, with the yo, box. Man, so that scene, is, yeah. I really just hope that they they can put a run of form together at the end of the season um, where they can be proud of themselves. Yep. I think that's what everyone wants. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And that's that's important. And obviously, partner, after the, those games the, um, we've obviously seen in this week, um, the alignment camp, there's hey, some yeah. names that mm. came out, Boiki. Um, some interesting some names. Some interesting and some names. Uh, any, names any, that anything that stood out for you, boys, that was included in the first Springbok yeah, alignment some, game some, after the World Cup? Some guys that was in a fantastic form. It was interesting to see that Rassi is, is moving a little bit to, towards the younger generation because obviously it's time to bolt. Um, yes. You know, a, a lot of our, our senior players isn't around the 32, 33 um, vibe so there's a lot of uh, junior um, boys uh, good to see Suleiman Hatzenberg Sasa Feinberg and Gomba Zulu um, you know you got the youngsters the, um, from the Bulls um, Jan Hendrik Wessels um, Andre Goefenter is in there as well a lot of hookers um, Mornay Krappi that's giving, getting his opportunity Salele is, 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 yeah, is in the squad as well time. Very sad about um, Papier, Ambrose Papier. Um, would have liked to see him in the squad. I mean, he's also been fantastic. But uh, yeah, we've got a lot of nines. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty good to see the boys. Um, I mean, we've got the injured boys like um, Faf and Jesse and, and Kwaha also in the squad. And 
uh, they're obviously going to train, but they're just there to make sure that the youngsters, they, they, they leave something um, with the youngsters. And obviously, I won't say it's a change of guard, but there's a mm. lot of new fresh breath and new players yeah. in there, but it's also only domestic players in this alignment camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so there's no overseas-based contracted players in this camp. So mm. I think um, it's it, it's a good taste for a lot of those young great boys taste, yeah. to see what Feel the, the Springbok environment mm. is about. Mm. And obviously put their marker down and, yes. and, and put their best foot forward once they at the camp and they train with Rassi and they talk with Rassi mm. and the new coaching staff, Tony Brown and Flannery, Flannery coming in. And the boys, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So um, exciting times. Exciting times, yeah. Um, so we an got exciting a time for the players. Yes, because it's important. It's it's important for the guys to get going as soon as possible. Rassi must find his traps and his, his players. He must find the coaching staff, everyone connected because the end of the day, July is around the corner. Yes. Island is around the corner. And those boys are not going to play around, okay? Because okay. they're looking good in the Six Nations. And talking about around the corner, Rakas, okay? Mm. Up next, guys, we got um, from the educational department of SAID, the South African Institute for Drug Free Sport. We got Bata Biwe Siwe. Oh, oh, oh up say it again. Next. Say it again. Bata Biwe Siwe. Oh, just that also of the time. Is again? it? Yeah, yeah. Bata Biwe Siwe. Yes, just okay. to educate, uh, you know, especially the young generation coming through and all the athletes, all the youngsters out there, just make sure that we that be clear. We even tick, I think just, boxes. even for the two of us, I think there's a lot of stuff um, um, that, that, mm. that we don't even know mm. when we played. So education is obviously really important and I'm excited for this. Yeah. You ready, Manier? Yeah, I want to be educated. Too. Okay. Mm. Up next, Bata Biwe Siwe. And good afternoon, mm, yes. Bata. Welcome to Behind the Rock. Yes, we are uh-huh. very privileged. Welcome, home, welcome. You very are privileged. privileged. Yes. Yes. I'm yes. the one who's privileged. <laughs> very privileged to have, <laughs> yeah. to have you with uh, us. How are you doing, Bata? Are you good? I'm good. It's it's very hot out here today, hey? Yeah, it's cooler really, really in hot. here. So I'm going to be your best friends uh, for the yes, next couple yes, of minutes yes, just yes, because yes. I want to stay in here. Yeah, <laughs> that is perfect. Cape Town has been cooking. Yeah. South Africans. <laughs> it's yeah. been on fire. <laughs> but Bata, obviously... We are really fortunate to have you today as Thank the South you. African Institute for Drug Free Sport. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys obviously do a, a very important yeah. job within yeah. the whole sport community and society. Absolutely. And it's not fair of me to say what you guys do. I think mm-hmm. if I can give you the, the opportunity mm-hmm. to share a bit with the Rakas and our viewers, what mm-hmm. does SAIDS do and, and who are you guys? Yeah, absolutely. First of all, thank you so much for inviting me. Um, it's honestly a privilege and I'm happy to be here with both of you gentlemen. I am Bata Siwe. I am a Senior Education Coordinator for the South African Institute for Drug Free Sport. Mm. So what do we do? <laughs> How do I put that? <laughs> Mm. We are obviously very passionate about sport in South Africa. And our role or core focus is to make sure that our athletes compete in their natural ability. And that is making sure that they compete clean from using prohibited substances and methods. And we also want to make sure that our athletes leave a legacy behind for the younger generation um, in, in, in ways where they are proud to say no to doping. Um, We know the younger generation are the ones that are more prone to using quick fixes that have false, um, you know, um, ingredients or false accusations and all of that. And without realizing the risk behind it with their growth and development. So we are here to do the education and teach them that you can win without Mm. cheating your way to the top. Mm. Yeah, that is uh, it's very, important. Yeah, that is re- the most important mm. part. Yes, yeah. and is that the main role of the education department? So the main role of the education department is doing workshops and outreaches. We go to um, do talks. So yes. like this, actually not like this, but the talks that we're doing, the education, um, just to let them know, because sometimes with the athletes, they're using things from their coaches and parents, mm. and they don't actually know that what they're using can have a harmful effect in their future or can have a harmful effect in their career, in their sporting career. Mm. So we do education to educate them to say, hey, look, you're actually a good tennis player or you're a good rugby player. You don't need to use anything. You don't need to inject yourself with anything to make it to the top. Um, And so we do um, webinars, we do outreaches where we set up our gazebo. Um, where parents and athletes can come to us and ask questions and we do seminars and conferences and yeah, we do a lot of education um, where we, we educate. Yeah. And then where do you get all this information? Obviously you got to do a lot of talks and stuff. So mm. for, for, especially for the young kids out there, you know, moving forward and, and trying to stick on the right line, where do you get all this information 
Yeah, they can go onto our website, which is uh, www.drugfreesport.org.za. And they are able to go on that website. There's a lot of information. There's leaflets that they can download. There's booklets. There's a video library. There's infographics. I mean, goodness, we have everything. Um, Even nutritional um, research-based information. They can actually just go onto our website and they can do that. They can also do um, online courses. Um, on what we call a DAL, which is anti-doping e-learning, um, where they can download some courses, do free courses to educate themselves um, and enhance their knowledge. And, you know, our website is um, accessible for coaches, for parents, for medical practitioners, for anyone who's interested in knowing and learning more about drug-free sport. Mm. Yeah. And to check in with the medication that's on a prohibited list, um, mm. how can I check that? Yeah, so it's we have a cool medication check um, app where you are able to, you can get this on our on our website. Um, you can check the medication check, and they are able to put in the medication in there, and it will tell you whether it is prohibited or not. And if it is prohibited, it can tell you whether it's prohibited um, in competition or out of competition. Um, one of the things that you will not be able to find there is supplements mm-hmm. okay. um, and um, traditional medication. Mm. And that is a conversation that will need more than what we have. If I mm. had to go into detail yeah, yeah. why you will not find supplements, but those are one of the things that you will not find. They can try and search it, but they're not going to find it. But anything okay. else, they're able to to check. They can actually, um, even, you know, we say when you go and you're, feeling, you're not feeling well, or you've mm. got an injury and a doctor prescribes you something, before you take it, you can either say, hey, doc, can we just check um, on the medication check app? And, and would that be the batch number, a butter, that they have to check? So they can just put in the name. Okay. The name of the medication. Mm. Yes, you can put in the name of the medication oh, and it will pop that's, up. Yeah, That's amazing. It's, it's it actually makes it so much easier. Absolutely easy. So we yeah. always say, hey, have it with you. And before you take it, just check just whether check, it is yeah. prohibited or not. Mm. Um, yes. And but while obviously we're on the doping, um, mm. the responsibility, does that always fall with the athlete? Mm. Absolutely. Strict liability. Mm. You are responsible for anyone. what you ingest, whether it is prescribed by your doctor over the counter, however you receive it you are responsible for what you put in your body. I mean, mm. imagine what the world would be if we had to you, take that responsibility and put it on someone else. Yeah. Well, forever, it will never end because he said I must take it, but she said I must take it. So at the end of the day, we always say, be, be careful. I mean, that's what we should say to, to kids mm. as well. When, you know, when you, a, a, you know, a friend or anyone gives you something, don't just take it. Yeah. Be aware Do what you research. are taking. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So it, we call it strict liability where we say you and you alone are responsible for what you put in your body. Into your body. Yeah. Yes. And it's so easy to get information. So it's important for, especially the young athletes out there, just mm. get the information, double check, even if you have to triple check, make mm-hmm. sure um, with the SNCs or with the doctors that yes. everything is all cleared. Yeah. Just to make sure that you can achieve and you can have a 10, 20, 15 year career. Um, Absolutely. If possible, yeah. 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 Uh, I've got one more question. Yeah. Um, <laughs> from a testing point of view, um, do you guys test at schools, sp- uh, school sports, mm. or is it just grown up after 18 years old? What is the, the, the age restriction when it comes to that? Okay, so we test in schools. Um, obviously, it is, you know, um, competing athletes. Okay. Um, so we test, but that information will never be given out. So we'll never mm. give a school and say we're going to test prior to the time. Okay. And um, we'll never give out an, an, a name of which athlete is going to be tested. Um, so there are certain procedures that follow um, in order to do the testing. But um, the testing is done at schools, competitions, um, you know, national, inter- national, international competitions. So the testing is done everywhere. Um, and again, this mm. we are not trying to police anyone. Yeah. We are trying to help our athletes to yes. to be proud. I mean, if you are doing everything right in your natural ability and talent, then me coming to test you shouldn't be anything that we panic. But also that is why we do the education mm. so that we run through that process with our um, athletes. So they know because it could be a very scary process if you have never been tested before. Mm. Um, so we do the education so that by the time they get tested, they are more than prepared and aware of what is going to happen. Yeah, oh, that's fantastic. And but on the on the app, um, can a school 
book you guys for educational se- session? Is that possible? 100% okay. and it is free of charge. Yeah. So they can oh, book yeah. us. They can just go onto our website. They can book. They can send us an email and our emails are also on our website. Mm-hmm. They can just go to the education department and they can book a session and we will send an educator. We have educators across South Africa. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be in the Western mm-hmm. Cape alone. It can be in Joburg. It can be in Pumalanga, anywhere. We will send through an educator who will do the workshop for them and give them the information that they need. Mm. And it's free of charge. Free of awesome. charge, man. <laughs> yes. Stunning. You know, stunning, yeah. That's good. It's just to, to make sure that, you know, people are informed about what's happening. I, I mm. know, obviously, we can sit here and talk for hours about mm. all the nitty gritty detail, but that's, oh, we want but, butter back. I think no, we, 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 we will definitely, Rakas yes. will definitely have a back. This is just <laughs> yes. the, start the start of things. Of yes. this. We, we're only introducing it, you yes, guys. Because me and Rudy, we said we like the name, but to be with Siwe. <laughs> yeah, that's why we got to so, get the back. Yeah. I like that you guys actually <laughs> called me Siwe because uh, as you can see how it's spelled, it's Siva. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I've always been called Siva. Siva. <laughs> yeah, seven up Siva. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but Bata, thank you very much for making the time. It's fantastic yeah. to have you on the show. Uh, just mm-hmm. educating, especially the younger athletes that looking for future in this game, looking for future in sport. Absolutely. And now this m- little information, I mean, everything is so at the click of the, um, you know, on their phone. Yeah, yeah. It's, yes. it's, it's easy it's access easy for access. them. So for, yeah. for, for them, they must just go there and just make sure that they educate themselves. Yeah. Yes, mm. yes, 100%. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you. But before I leave, mm. I would also want to say that we are running a social media campaign mm. for yes. Varsity Cup and Varsity Shield. Oh, yeah. mm. They must just go onto our social media platforms and there will be weekly questions, polls that you know, fun facts, and they can win some goodies. So Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's awesome news. Yeah. I'm also going to go on. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I was, I was <laughs> freebie. Uh, goodies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, guys, Thanks but to be with you. Yeah. Oh, your partner. Yeah. yeah. Um, I know a little bit now. Hmm? Some things, yes. Been in the game for 16, 17 years, and I must maybe a couple of things. <laughs> 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 but it's uh, good here. Mm. I think, obviously, especially, especially um, there's a lot of rugby, a lot of tournaments and mm. stuff happening this year. It's good that our kids know what to expect and, mm. and where to find certain answers. Yes. And especially the youth of today. Because hey, everyone wants to be there. Huh? But it takes hard work and dedication to be there. Okay. Leave this sh- shortcut. Work hard. Like you it. know, you, you got to work hard. You are coach, eh? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> we truly. Gotta we got to prep them. You <laughs> are coach. I can see the person in your yeah, eyes yeah, when you yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. that stuff. Oh, it's crucial. It's important. Yeah. There's Expeal some for you. There's steps to this game. Expeal some for you. Hmm? Ah, lose. Okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry, Rakas. Um, guys, mm. um, Obviously, behind the rack is in IOK Studios. Go mm. check them out. Go check them out, um, yes. Fantastic mm. facilities. You guys can see it looks gorgeous here. Um, Paddy, um, behind the rack is brought to you by Lula Bet. Should you say it? Like they must know by they now. They must know. Come on, guys. <laughs> they must know uh, by now. ABCs. <laughs> Lula Bet is behind We're the rack. We're calling a space. Partner, okay. Um, mm. New partner coming on board to behind the rack. Hey. We will announce it in due time. Kruger International. What's oh, this space? Okay. Exciting time. Wait, yeah. anything. Mm. That, um, we've, oh. got a, we've got a new thing here that they must go to. Mm, find web, all the old website. episodes. Uh. Our website is important, Rakas. You must go to our website. It's www.behindtherackpodcast.com. There we go. Y- yes, dot Lovely com. Boy yes. Dot com. Go check it out, okay? I've got a couple of things to, that, that uh, you know, I want you guys to know. He's got a couple of things he wants you to know. So go check it out, guys. All the episodes is on there. All the information yes, is on all there. All our information. All the sponsors, Lula Bet, everything, everyone. everyone is on there. So... If you want to know about BTR, the core of BTR, go to our website. And you guys can drop mm. your comments. Um, if there's questions, please put it, drop it on our website so we can get back to you guys ASAP. A- ASAP, yeah. Okay, Keep partner. going with the comments, eh? Hey? Yes. They must like, share, subscribe. I actually want to touch on that part. Okay. okay? Rakas, let's make sure that we do not drop the ball. Mm. Okay? We've been educating. We yes. have the spring box. we got World we Cup winners. We don't want those type of things. We don't want knock-ons <laughs> and we don't want the roof cakers okay. no more. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's it. like... Share, share and, and subscribe, subscribe okay? okay and family members and all the people on whatsapp if i do send you the link send it on okay don't keep it to yourself okay can you come uh, on guys uh, they do like ah okay let's click on it no 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 share forward and there we go there okay, we go very okay rock is very important mm. all right and check it out fantastic episode yeah good to catch up with obranas see if it's if it's all good and it looks all good and it feels all good he's getting ready for the second of march um yeah and we covered a lot of things 
Yeah, and it's mm. a, it's a, it's, a, it's another obviously fantastic episode. Oh, I want to mention this ruckus before I say goodbye to you yeah, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, hashtag fill up Loftus. Oh, That's gonna are be. Are we going? Yes, oh, we're going. We, we're filling up the stadium, man. Eh? Yep. What is the capacity in Loftus? Oh, you got to put me on the spot. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying we're going to sell that thing okay. out. Right? Whatever yes. it is, okay? Uh, 50 something, whatever. Uh, uh, we, uh, okay. There's so, two spots for us. We're going to be there. Mm. So, guys, please watch all of our social platforms. Me and Juan's private yeah. social platforms behind the rack social platforms. Um, please come and be part of this whole build up to this massive yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. please hashtag fill up Loftus. That's going to be the Loftus. motto of next week, okay? Mm, yeah. Are you excited for Loftus? I'm excited. I want to see what's... I'm all proud of you. We're going to go to the altitude mat. Hey, here it comes. We'll have to see and we'll check okay. it out. Yeah. We're going to take the first one, Bulls, next week. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, calm down. Seven okay, up is in the building. Seven up is in the building. Guys, I'm Rudy Page. I'm Joan de Jong. And the rock is clear. Yeah.